This is what most people think of when they think of fencing. But today's swordsmen and women would rather play than plunder. The sport of fencing combines athletic skill with finesse and brains. It's a thinking man's sport. If you can think and use your physical ability at the same time, then you can be a good fencer. Uh, you can't be a good fencer unless you can think. Fencers compete with three different types of swords. The most common is the thin, whip-like foil. In competition, they dress a lot differently than Errol Flynn did. Body coverings, gloves, and masks are standard safety equipment. But little did I know when I agreed to put on all this gear for the first time since my college days, I'd be up against one of the best. Richie Clark finished fourth at the last national competition, so I knew I was in for a fight. I got a few hits in, but Richie did most of the damage. But what the heck, this kid's seen tougher competition than me. He's been in international tournaments for years. It's been hard, but it's been fun, you know. The guys are real good. It's different to meet, like, people from, like, Canada. And they all fence different, and then it's, like, a different challenge, you know. I, I enjoy working with kids. I enjoy, I, I prefer working with kids than adults. The, the problem with adults is once they start fencing, they just want to get in there and fence and beat up on each other, you know. I enjoy working with kids. Uh, to me, it's, it's fun. It keeps me young, you know.